All right, what else is different about the plot? Hmm. Well, in one of them, ants tell Grasshopper to collect food. And in the other one, ants and Grasshopper switch jobs. So we can say ant says <laughs> collect food slash switch jobs. So then in one, they tell him to get food and in the other one, they decide to switch jobs. So in the one where they tell him to collect food, he doesn't listen. And the one where they switch jobs, they end up respecting each other. So we could say for the last bullet, does not listen to ant slash they respect each other. I'm putting slashes because that's telling me what's happening in both stories. So if you need to, you can pause me and write this down. Okay, the ending. How are they alike in the end? Hmm. Well, in both of them, Grasshopper learns a lesson. So I'm going to say Grasshopper learns a lesson. That's how they are alike. And they're different because in one of them, Grasshopper dies. So Grasshopper dies. So those are the differences in the endings. And you can pause me and write this down. Okay, moving on. So careful, at the top it tells you which story we're doing. So this one says grasshopper and the ants. This one says ant and grasshopper. So I'm gonna start with the one that says grasshopper and the ants. You come up with four juicy questions on your own. Remember when I say juicy, that means that it's not something like, who are the characters? Because that's really easy, right? That's easy. You wanna come up with a question that's hard, but can also be found in the story. Questions that cannot be answered by the story are not allowed, but you do want them to be difficult. So you can pause me now and come up with four questions and then start it again when you're done. Okay, don't forget we're in Grasshopper and the Ants. We're in the first story. So describe the main event that happened in this story and color it yellow. So in Grasshopper and the Ants, what do you guys think is the most important part of the story? What do you think kind of changes things? Hmm. I think maybe when the ants tell Grasshopper that he needs to collect food for the winter and he doesn't listen. I think that's important because if he had listened, he would have survived, but he didn't survive. So that's his fault. So I'm gonna say the main event is, because complete sentences are very important. The main event is when the ants tell Grasshopper to store food, but he does not listen. And you're supposed to color that part yellow. So that means you're going to color, hmm, paragraphs E, F, and G.
Describe how Grasshopper reacted to this event. So when they told him to collect food, what did he do? He said no, and then he got upset, and then he died. So, Grasshopper reacted by, I wanna see exactly what he says, cause I forget. Hmm. Oh, he rolled his eyes. By rolling his eyes, period. Then I'm gonna say what happened to him. I'm gonna say winter came and he died. And then color the text that tells how Grasshopper reacted. So that needs to be colored blue. So you could color paragraphs G, H, and I. I'll hold this up for you. You can pause me if you need to copy this down. Okay, now we're gonna flip it over and do ant and grasshopper. So come up with four juicy questions for ant and grasshopper. So go to ant and grasshopper. And come up with four juicy questions. And then come play me when you're done with that. Okay, what is the message, lesson, or moral of this story? So we talked about this earlier. I was saying how seven habits are actually a really good lesson for this one. So the message is, the lesson is, or the moral is, I like moral. The moral is seek first to understand, comma, then to be understood. And I'll show you what I wrote. So you can pause me here and copy this. Underline three important words in the text. So pause me and go underline three important words. And then summarize the story. So remember, you're only summar summarizing ant and grasshopper. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven paragraphs, which means you should have seven sentences. So first, next, then, also, after that, next. You can use next twice if you want. And then to sum up, in conclusion, in the end, whatever you wanna use for the end. So go back to these paragraphs. I'm not gonna do it for you because you guys are really good at summarizing. So first is paragraph A, next is paragraph B, then is paragraph C, after that is paragraph D, next for paragraph E, also for paragraph F, and for paragraph G, you can do in the end to sum up, all in all, whatever you wanna use. And remember, our summaries are usually really long and they go on the back of the paper. You don't sit there and go, I ran out of room. Just flip it over like we always, 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 always do and put it on the back, okay? And that is your close read for today, but don't go yet. When you're done with this close read, you need to do narrative or opinion writing. You need to plan it and write it on paper. Remember, it's not done if you just plan it. You have to put it on paper too, okay? And then after that, you need to get on iReady reading for 30 minutes, okay? You can get on it for longer if you want, but I want you on there for at least 30 minutes. If you would like to, you can do tumble books after that. 
and you will have math later. Okay, goodbye.